Thanks, Frank. It's a stage show that is completely different every <laughs> single night. And wow, the focus that has to go into this. Blind Date uh, sees Mimi pick an unsuspecting suitor from the audience, and hilarity ensues. Now, please welcome Blind Date star and creator Rebecca Northen. Thank you so much They're for coming in. Oh, it's my pleasure. Okay, Thank you. Break it down for us. How does this all happen when we go see it? Uh, well, the show starts in the lobby. So myself and the rest of the cast are mingling, seeing who's there, who might be playful and game. We always check uh, in with the gentleman in the lobby. Are you willing to be on our maybe list? And we usually have four or five choices in the night, but they, they won't know until we call their name that they've been chosen. We always check in if they have a wife or a girlfriend. We say, look, we're thinking of choosing your partner. Is that okay with you? So that everybody's comfortable and we know that it's meant to be playful. How, how do they normally react to that? Uh, it, <laughs> if, uh, <laughs> that good, huh? <laughs> no, actually, well, what we'll say is that, that if they're married, nine times out of ten, the wives are like, oh, please, take him. Just take him. <laughs> Make sure he has a nice time. Just Take him, which is always really fun to do. And then it's 90 minutes of an actual blind date, and you're yeah. going in blind every night because this is yeah. true improv for you. And it all started as a 10 minute segment here in Toronto, is that right? It did, yeah. The Spiegel tent was here, uh, I think, in 2009. It started as a little 10 minute piece. Um, that was just kind of really quick and by the end of the summer I was like that was really fun I wonder what would happen if we took time to get to know the guy and that turned into this 90 minute um, Extravaganza of romance and with we, a stranger and it's 90 minutes with a complete stranger yeah. who has no acting training no acting training and We don't pick actors and it's ever. just you yeah So how do you navigate yourself through that and what do you draw from from the experience did it all start with a really crazy bad date that you went no. on? Where did you get this idea? I've never been on a blind date in my personal life, ever. Oh. I only do it professionally, which sounds really odd, right? <laughs> um, but the way you get through it is actually very similar to what you guys do. Really, Blind Date, at its core, is a very sort of oddly packaged interview show. Yeah. So what happens for the audience over that 90 minutes is that they get to know a stranger, and they get to know them really well. And when the show is at its best, you can feel 200 people in the audience fall in love with this guy that they hadn't met until that that night either. Oh, and then the cool thing is you could tell this is a recipe that's working because it's been in three countries now. So the yeah. US, Canada, the UK, and you have eight other people doing what you do that you we help do. cast and train. Yes, there are five other women that do this sort of original straight version of the show. We did a queer version at Buddies and Bad Times in Toronto uh, last fall. And it just kind of, we just keep spreading the love further. And you are the creator, but you cast everybody for this. I do. You're the one who, who goes yes. through and says, yes, you can do this. Mm -hmm. it, it does, it definitely requires a very particular kind of performer who's comfortable taking care of someone else. We want that person at the end of the night to feel like they've been at kind of a romantic theater spa. Mm -hmm. um, and it requires a lot of improv training. And you know what, with the success of The Bachelor, The Bachelorette, you've got, you know, all of these shows focused on dating, blind dates, the, the appetite is there. Yeah. And to be part of such an organic process is such a fun way to spend an evening. Oh, it's great. Last night we had a guy named Raymond, 44. He's a professor of sociology and communication. That's his first degree. He has a degree in English. He has a master's in something else. He's doing a PhD in autism studies. Wow. He was so kind, raised by a single mom, respectful of ladies. The whole room fell in love with him. He was there on his first date ever oh my with a woman that he met online. Oh and so goodness. when we said, is it okay if we borrow? She was like, yeah, this is great. Do the test drive. Find out <laughs> I'll watch. And I think if Abby, you know, if at the end of the day, for whatever reason, Abby doesn't want to date Raymond, there's probably a lineup of ladies from the audience. Or if I've they seen, get married, she owes it to you. Or she owes that. Yeah, I need to get I need to get an invite. Right? I've seen I've seen men get be given phone numbers by audience members after the show I believe many it. times. I believe it. Make sure you guys yeah. see it. It's called Blind Date. It's on now until June 25th at Tarragon Theater. For more information on tickets, breakfasttelevision.ca. Over to you, Mel.